Hello, and welcome back, everybody, to the Serpent Series, class number two of ten, Bardix, Etiquette 101. Today we're going to go over a few do's and don'ts when it comes to Bardix, both online and in person. First off, turn order. What order are the performances going to be done in, and where are you in that order? Now, first rules first, don't cut or jump the line, okay? You want to wait until a performance is over and ask who's running the event and if there is a list that you can get put on. If there is no list or turn order, make sure not to hog the stage too much. Wait for one or two other people to go. If it feels like nobody else is standing up, go ahead and offer yourself up to do another performance. Now, if you are running the Bardic and the rotation has already went around once, it's actually common practice to add new people coming into the chat or to the bardic fire to the front of the line. This way, they're not having to wait around to do a performance. They can get right into it and then decide if they want to stick around after that. Now, if you are running the bardic, continuously ask if anyone wants to join the rotation and make sure that you encourage people to perform. Tell them how much fun it is and tell them how safe the place they are in is for them to perform something. It doesn't really matter what they perform. If they want to get up and do something, they can. It could be singing, dancing, recitation of a poem or a play. Someone else's song. So this is when you perform or want to perform a song that somebody else already does or is known for doing or a song that somebody that you know personally has written. What you want to do is when you're at your bardics, you want to pay attention to what other people are performing. That way you can know if it's something that they perform regularly or if it's something they perform particularly well. You want to make sure not to repeat any performances in the same night. So if somebody else plays a song that you were planning on playing, do not play it again. You want to make sure that you are trying though not to do a song or a performance that somebody else does. So if you are seeing somebody perform something regularly, it, try to avoid doing it yourself, especially if they are there. If they aren't at the performance, feel free to go ahead and play a song that somebody else regularly does. Also, don't be afraid to ask if you can play a song that you know someone else is known for. If you've been practicing it and it's your turn at a bardic and you see that the person who you learned the song from, who you've seen perform it a whole bunch is there, ask them, hey, were you planning on playing this song tonight? Is it okay if I do? In most instances, they will be perfectly fine with it. Unless they were planning on doing it right then, you're usually pretty good. Avoid backing music. You never want to use backing music in a competition setting unless you are playing an instrument or if the backing music is specifically arranged as an accompaniment. So something uh, orchestral where you're playing an instrument and joining into it, or maybe you're singing over just instruments. Backing music is allowed at fires, but I promise you it will sound better without it. Just use your voice, go a cappella. And the audience will actually appreciate that a whole lot more than if you play music with you. It tends to just turn into noise after a certain distance. It is possible to put backing music onto Discord and other online bardic styles, but if you're using the original music, you will be fighting an uphill battle against the vocal track that's already on the music. No talking during someone else's performance. If you are online, mute yourself. Even if you don't think you can be heard, the little green light can be really distracting to somebody who's performing. If you're at a live performance, be quiet or go somewhere else. Per performing can be very nerve-wracking and it's unfair to the performer for you to talk while they're up on stage. While we're on that, it's important to stick to the bardic. We are here to perform and hear other people perform as well. It's okay to have some small talk and conversations do tend to get away a little bit, 
but it's rude to waste people's time. Joining in to somebody's music. Never try to join in to what someone's playing online. The latency will never match up. Feel free to sing and play along at home, but while you're muted and no one else can hear you. Do not join in the performance if it's being judged. Not even clapping along or to encourage, unless it's specifically asked for by the performer. Joining in around a campfire is encouraged. Just remember to not overpower the person who is leading. Make sure you are in tune and on pitch. Also, be sure to read the room. You can usually tell if it's okay for you to jump in or not. Practicing before it's your turn to play. If you're online, it is fine to practice while someone else is performing, but remember to mute yourself. It's not required, but it is nice if you can also cut your camera while you're practicing. If you need to practice during live bardics or judging, walk away at least 60 feet so that you are not a distraction to the bardic that's currently going on. When is the right time to tune? If you are online, tune your music before your turn, during the last person's performance, but make sure you are muted. If you are in person, walk away to tune, or do it during the intro to your performance. But just make sure not to take up too much of other people's time when they could be performing. If you're being judged, it is best if you tune while introducing. Tune as soon to the performance as you possibly can. That way you will know that your instrument is in tune while you are being judged. Be prepared. Know what you're going to perform before you go up. At the very least, have one or two picked out so that you can decide in the moment, especially if somebody else does something similar or the same song you were planning on doing. Try to be familiar with what you are performing. You don't want to go up and be reading off of a phone or stumbling along the words because you can't quite remember them. Try your best to know what you're going to perform. It's okay if you don't, but be prepared. If you're online, be sure that your settings are correct for live performances. There are several different types of online platforms where you can perform in front of other people. You want to make sure to go into your volume and uh, device settings and make sure that you have all noise suppression turned off and you want your sensitivity down so that the audience can always hear you and you're not fighting against the program that is trying to decide whether you are actually talking or not. Volume. Be loud. We want to hear you. The audience came to hear you perform. And the people in the back row are just as important as the people in the front row. Make sure they can hear you. If you're online, make sure, though, that you are aware of peaking, that you're not being too loud and making noise on your microphone from it hitting the maximum level. Remember, quiet songs can still be heard if you are properly using dynamics. Keep going. Don't stop or give up if you mess up or get lost. Just keep on going. Get to a spot that you can remember. In most cases, the audience won't even notice that it happened. The audience isn't looking for mistakes. They're looking to pay attention to you. Keep it clean, for the most part. Mostly, just be aware of your audience. Are there kids in the crowd? Are the people there that you don't think would like what you're about to perform? If someone says something is inappropriate, take the advice and probably don't perform that one again. Or at the very least, don't perform it around that group of people. There are a few songs that you probably just should never perform. Even some traditional ones, like a certain Irish song about a blue ribbon. Or any song that uses the G slur in it. Applause. Always applause every single time. They're up there performing for you and you need to show that gratitude. Be loud, be vocal. 
When you're online, there's actually two different ways that you can applaud. You could use the clap emoji, which sometimes actually does an audible clap that you can hear, and it's really encouraging to the performers. The other way is by using ASL, American Sign Language sign, for applaud, which is like this. This one's great when you're muted, because the performer can still see that you're happy about their music. Be respectful. Don't talk bad about other people's performances. It takes a lot of guts to get up on stage in front of other people and perform. And everybody who does it deserves respect. Be happy that they're up there. Don't complain about what they're saying. Don't complain if they're out of tune or off pitch. Just be in the moment. And of course, that brings us to this one. Above all, have fun. Have fun with what you're doing. Have fun with the crowd. Stay for other performances. That has been Bardic Etiquette 101. My name is Aiden Darkbard. I am in the Kingdom of Polaris in the park of Green Harbor. It has been a lot of fun having you with me today. Make sure that when you go out there and perform at other Bardics, you take some of this stuff to heart and keep it in mind. It'll help you go a whole lot longer and make your performances a lot more fun. See you next time.